It's now Tuesday the 24th of October and I started my new job on Monday so my routine has changed quite a lot. It means that the days start at half six in the morning and I get home from work at about half six but at least I'm Monday to Friday now so just means that any longer videos I have to do will wait until the weekend. I'm going to upload shorts during the week and then record as I am now whatever happened during the day with the actual portfolio and upload the same regular weekly upload every Friday. So I'll give you a quick rundown of how the portfolio started for the week. So here we have all of my worst performing positions. And the worst of the worst is Adler Group, 93% down. Pretty bad. This is delisted, sanctioned, sanctioned, winding down, probably going to be delisted. But yeah, quite a lot of them having a hard time. And then these are all of my best performing positions. Frontline, 221% up. Very nice, but I only put in about five euro by the looks of it. Still a lot of energy companies up here, but it's unfortunate because all these positions are so small, I'm going to have to add to them and that's going to reduce how much they've gone up and also raise my average price quite a lot. But I'll burn that bridge when I get to it. These are all my largest positions by euro. Realty income is number one, about 300 euro in it. And a lot of monthly paying stocks up here. I did bulk these up a couple of months ago. I was focusing on them, but a lot of them are having a pretty bad time at the moment. And then we have all of my smallest positions by euro. Goldman Sachs is brand new, so it's fair enough. It's only one euro. It's sanctioned. And then these are new. Then this is organized by newest position. And this is organized by oldest position. The 2nd of February, 2021. So yesterday, Monday, I got three dividend payments for a total of three euro and 62 cent. And then on Sunday, I got one cent interest on cash. And yesterday, I got 11 cent interest on cash. And then today, I got the four cent interest on lending. And I only got two dividends totaling 11 cent. So not particularly eventful. This is quite a nice one though, 3 euro 41 cent. This was in the UK dividend aristocrats of last year. The portfolio overall is about 10% down. The realized profit is the same, 409 euro. I've received 868 euro in dividends in total. And I've deposited about 16,000. And then over the weekend, I also finished the Dividend Kings of 2023. But because the new routine would work, means that I don't really have time to go through 30 positions and make a long video on them. So that's going to have to wait until the weekend. But at least the plus side of that is that the yields won't change. So what happened was I recorded the video first and then realized the microphone wasn't on. So it just sounded horrendous. And by the next day, when I went to record, all of the yields had changed. So they were no longer accurate. But all of these stocks are stocks that have paid consecutive raised dividends for the last 50 years or more. And an important thing to note is that Altria had the highest yield. It was 9% when I recorded it. But that's all for Monday and Tuesday so far. So Wednesday, 25th of October. Good day for dividends. Lots and lots of bond payments. So it was a total of 26 payments for a value of €4.28. Euro and so now up to 872 euro in dividends. Yeah, a lot of the bond funds, they pay a dividend once per month. And because they're all Vanguard, they all pay on the same day. A gilt is just another name for a bond. And the last buy orders that went in were all on the 23rd of October. And that was when I updated the dividend kings list. But the bond market has been getting absolutely wrecked as well. So I think I'm going to put 30 euro into each of my bond pies just to take advantage of the dips a little bit. But I'll show you the three pies now. So all of these are denoted in dollars, and I have five. Then the bond funds donated in pounds, I have seven. All of them are red. And the bond funds in euro, I have 18. Also all red, bar two of them. Three, four, yeah, four of them. So it's looking pretty bad for all of them. And I'm going to take advantage and put 30 euro into each pie. And I'll do each one by self-balancing. So that's the spread in this one. That's the spread in the second one. Now there is 18 in this one, so I think I'm going to put 40 euro in between all of them. So that's how it was spread it out. Not much, but there is 18 of them, so what can you do? Now, so they should go in tomorrow, and the portfolio overall is 10% down. It's down a little more than it was yesterday, but that's all for Wednesday, 25th of October. The end of the week, Friday the 27th of October, but quite a bit of activity, and I've added a new position. Today, that's CARA 4. I'll show you that in a few minutes. But the portfolio now has an even 876 euro in dividends received. Profit and loss hasn't changed. About 410 euro. Yesterday, Thursday the 26th, I got 4 cent lending interest, 1 cent interest on cash, 
and today I got four cent interest. And then on the dividend front, yesterday I got three payments for a total of 18 cent. And today I got 10 dividend payments. So the totals for this week are 11 euro and 31 cent in dividends received and 25 cent in interest received for a total of 11 euro and 56 cent increase in the value of the portfolio. So it was pretty good. And the new stock I added is Carrefour. This is a huge grocery chain headquartered in France, has about 350,000 employees. It does only pay a dividend once per year, but the dividend yield at the moment is a nice 3.5%. So we'll see how that does over the years. It was my last paycheck from my previous job. And then next Friday, I get my first paycheck from a new job. So there's no gap in between. It's very nice. So I have 277 euro in free funds at the moment and i'm going to use that to bulk up some of the very smallest positions i'll use 100 euro of it in 10 euro increments and get all of these out of the slim jim section what is goldman sachs simmons first national ken view which isn't looking too good johnson controls international gorman roop g-a-t-x and tim ken so they should go in on tuesday and that pretty much wraps it up for the week so we'll pick up where we left off next week